Hey folks, Ollie here, and today we're going to be talking about StockDrops.net, more specifically the desktop app. The desktop app is the quickest way to get notifications for tough to find electronics. We're talking GPUs, CPUs, consoles, etc. So first thing you do is go to StockDrops.net and just click on download our desktop app. Click save file, depending on your prompts from your browser. And it's going to show up under downloads. Looks like it's firing up already. All right, now that I've allowed all these messages to load, I'm actually going to read them all. I'll put a timestamp at the bottom of the screen so that way if you've already read these or you're going to read them yourself to get the most up-to-date ones, you can skip to this timestamp. Welcome to the Stock Drops app. This is where all the notifications will live. Please read the next messages thoroughly. They are important, and they are. They're not fooling around there. Here at Stock Drops, we believe that everyone should have access to top-notch notifications for as little as possible. That's why we have created this app, and we offer a free tier. This free tier will still allow you to select what items you'll want to be notified about. You can even choose what exact AIB or models to be notified about. And you can even set them to open links automatically on your browser, saving you precious time. Sadly, since we have to pay for every single notification you receive, the free tier has a limit on how many notifications you can receive per day. The free tier will be limited to five alerts per day. Worry not, though. The paid tiers are very affordable. We have made sure that through economy of scale, we can offer you amazing notifications with as little lag as possible. You can view the plans by clicking the button below. Before you create a Stock Drops account, we like to be clear and transparent with each user. And instead of hiding this in a convoluted privacy policy, as many would do, we tell you up front. The way we are able to find stock for you is through this app. The app will check stock in regular, albeit very slow, usually, usually slower than every two minutes intervals, and communicate with our own servers and the rest of the users if stock was found. Only then will you receive a notification. For this to work properly and to protect your IP from being seen as a bot, we need some files called cookies. So in order to use this app, you agree to grant us permission to access your default browser cookies and to use them as we need. Don't worry, they are never used for malignant reasons. Plus, they allow us to offer you an auto cart feature on every website we support. This is subject to constant mouse and cat game with websites, starting from the silver plan. Without them, we wouldn't be able to browse inconspicuously so many websites. If you do not agree to this use, please close the app right now and uninstall it. If you are still here, I will walk you through a first-time setup. After the setup is complete, I will run the setup automatically every time you open the app by opening and closing the website's recrawl in a new window to avoid as much disruption as possible. Welcome to the Stock Drops family. We are happy to have you with us. In short, in short, what that's saying is they're just letting you know up front that the permissions needed to run the app involve saving and using your cookies. And what they do is they run it every two-minute intervals from your machine, but everybody else is also running at two-minute intervals, and that's so your IP doesn't get flagged. But those two-minute intervals add up and are staggered, so it's pretty much a constant check of these websites, but not all coming from your machine, so that way your IP isn't going to get blocked, and that's how they they allow this to work so smoothly so that's in essence what that's saying there for you remember that this project is just getting started we have released publicly but that doesn't mean the app stagnates on the contrary all efforts in on are in expanding the app, excuse me there, on making the app the best notification hub available. We will expand retailers and products tracked in no time. We are also planning on adding features to make it easier to snatch those high demand items, and that's the efforts your subscription is really paying for. Stay tuned, it's an exciting time to be part of the Stock Drops family. And let me point that out. I'm not with Stock Drops, you know, I'm Ollie Beans, I'm separate, but I use them and it's just such a great group of folks that I'm going to be signing up for the highest tier plan, even though I have my 3080, I have my 5900X, but I'm going to do it to support the development of the project. Now, I'm not, you know, saying you should, but you might want to consider that uh, because it really is a great platform. It's a great folks of people behind it as well. We now have support for Newegg, Best Buy, b and in a limited fashion, and AMD Experimental. The alert settings might take a while on first run to fully populate. And here's an example of a test notification for you. And you got the product URL and the add to cart URL. Now these are, you know, 
the Discord and Twitter URL currently. I do recommend joining both of those. And now it's going to go through the first time setups together. So I'll be right back to set that up with you. All right, so I have gone and closed my default browser, as it says here, too. In fact, I just closed all my browsers to play it safe. And we're going to test these three buttons here and going forward with registering. So first, we're going to send a test notification. And that sends a test notification here. It did also open up the stock drops Discord link in my other window. But we're going to ignore that. And then we've got the product URL and the add to cart URL. These are the same ones we saw above. And then we're going to go to subscriptions because we do have to sign up for an account to use the Stock Drops app. And let's bring that over here. And so we've got three plans. And basically, they're the amount of alerts that you can get daily. I'm going to be signing up for the gold plan uh, because I do want unlimited alerts and also I just want to support the project. And you do have the free tier here, which limits you to five alerts. And so let's go in here. We're going to sign up. And let's wait for that code. I'm going to be grabbing it on my phone because I'm keeping my default browser closed. And there it is. And then here I'm at the payment screen. So we can use PayPal, PayPal credit, or a debit or credit card. I'm going to be using PayPal. And pretty straightforward. And I'm going to copy down my subscription ID somewhere safe. All right, perfect. Let's go back to the app now. All right. And now that we have got our subscription set up, We've sent a test notification. We're ready to use the ready button. And so they're going to collect some cookies and some browser information for everything to work properly. And this is an important stage. And this is why you close your default browser. And they're going to get the actual name of the browser to use it as a browser user agent. And it looks like they're opening up some windows here to test. And they've tested up all the windows, opened up all the windows to test. So we're done with setup, and then I'm going to log in here. And we're going to follow the prompt to log in or register. All right. You want to make sure that you follow all of the prompts. And so now we're signed in. All right. So let's take a moment to read all of the notifications and updates for everything that just happened when we did the first initial setup. And so it collected some cookies. And again, actually, I'll have a timestamp at the bottom if you want to skip me reading these in-app notifications, if you want to do so yourself, which I do recommend. And so it opened up the browser information and gathered your user agent. And that's so it can be as human-like as possible. And then it's going to redirect you through the authentication page, which we saw earlier. 
And then it's also going to redirect you to the websites of the realtors. That's why you saw Amazon pop up and GameStop and all these other websites. And what you want to do is you want to log into all those websites on your browser. So that way, when you're using the product URL, when you're using the add to cart URL, you're actually already signed in and it saves you those precious moments to actually add to cart and check out with that item. And so it opened up PlayStation.com, it opened up Amazon.com, AMD.com, Best Buy, B&H, EVGA, GameStop, Newegg, and we're successfully logged in. Now, let's actually set up some alerts, as it says here to do. Make sure you click on the bell icon to set up notifications. And this is the bell icon, and I have the menu expanded now. So let's get right into that. All right, so here we are in the alert settings. I'm actually going to make this full screen so that way this button isn't covering stuff up. And so the first thing you have is your retail options. These are the websites that you actually want to scan for items. I'm going to keep all of these on right now to give me the best chance. PlayStation 5, I'm not going to enable these because... I'm not looking for a PS5. I'm a PC player. If you are looking for a PS5, you would just enable it here. And you can even set your price limits, your min and max price for what you're willing to pay. We all know there's a lot of scalpers out there, even on sites like, you know, Newegg, Amazon. And so you do have to be wary. So if you want to limit the amount of notifications you get, this is probably one of the best features to do so. Do you want to allow combos? And for link behavior, do you want to open up the product link or the add to cart link? I usually use the add to cart link because I want to save those couple of seconds to beat those bots. And then we've got some associated models. So actually we can get down even more granular into the items you're looking for. And it's going to be a same setup for all the different GPUs we've got listed here. I'm so happy I can keep these off because I did get a 3080 using stock drops. And that's one of the reasons I'm making these videos for them. Oh, I do. I am eyeing that 3080 Ti though. And I'm just scrolling through here to let you see all the different options you have in case you're watching this video before signing up for it. And I did get a 5900X using stop drops as well. And I paid retail for both of those, by the way. And do you want to enable Newegg shuffle alerts? So I'm going to just enable some test alerts here. Let me do the 3080 Ti because that's the one I'd be eyeing here. I'm going to open them all in browser. I'm going to set my max price to, we'll say, 2200 All right. And then subscribe alerts. Click me when finished. So I'm now subscribing. I've successfully subscribed to the channel for RTX 3080 Ti successfully. All right, let's go back to the notification screen here. Remember to click the button at the bottom right side of the alert settings. You won't receive notifications without it. This message will only be shown once. And we have done that already. All right, so let's move on to some troubleshooting, some fine tuning, and some other steps. But otherwise, you're pretty much good to go. All right, so now we're going to go through some best practices. And this is really an important part of the setup of the Stock Drops app, right? We've got our alert settings done. You can see here, I'm ready to receive notifications connected to one channel, RTX 3080 Ti. And I did that through my alert settings. We can go here. And this is going to be your settings. Start with Windows. This is going to be important, especially if you put your computer to hibernate or uh, shut down every night, because the app does need to be open in order to work. And so I'm going to click that. Start with Windows. Minimize to tray. I want to be able to minimize it so I don't have it taking up valuable real estate. Let's change it to dark. We all know dark mode's the best mode. Do not disturb off because we do want to be alerted. And then here is some important information. If you're ever contacting support, getting your application uh, number or your version number is going to be important for you. And then let's take a look at some advanced settings. And this is going to reduce your GPU usage if you need to. You can scale the font here, but this looks pretty good to me. 
And there we go. We've gone through settings. Now we're going to go over what to do if your stock drops app is not functioning correctly. You can see here I'm signed in and I'm ready to receive the notifications on the 3080 Ti we set up earlier. But say for example, I am not able to click on some of these menu items. Some of these aren't working, right? I would first go to settings. Scroll down, check for updates. No new versions found. Notate the version number you are running in case you do need to contact support. But say I'm still having issues, there's no updates, I'm on the latest version, you wanna just uninstall the app and then reinstall it. And that's gonna fix the majority of your issues. And to do that, I would just go to settings, or remove features, search for the stock drops app, and then uninstall it. But before I uninstall it, I want to go to my app data local and I'll have a little snippet in the description below that you can just paste in here to get here. And I want to go to the stock drops folder and back up my app.db file. That is a database file. It stores all your settings and alert settings. And so you just want to copy and paste this somewhere safe. Then you would just click uninstall here. I'm not going to do that right now. And that'll uninstall stock drops. Then you want to go back to this local folder and delete both of these folders here to fully uninstall the app. And then just download a fresh version from the stockdrops.net website and go through that reinstall process again. And then you can paste that app.db file back into that stock drops folder, thereby putting all your settings and your alert settings back into the app.